it's rough, you know, whether it's the demon crats or the Republic clan, it's, I mean, it's just challenge, you know, to get involved, really, I mean, because everything seems like it's the same flavor with a different label on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we have, I think that as a people, we have invested too much uh, into politics and not enough into spiritual reform and economic uh, reform of our people. We made a big mistake, I believe, in the 60s and the 50s and the 40s, fighting for civil rights when we should have been fighting for civil rights. Yeah. We should have been doing more independent economic affairs instead of wasting so much time trying to get them to accept us. We had, at the time, for integration, we had black hotels, black cab companies, black bus companies, black restaurants, and as soon as white people said, y'all can come and eat with us and sleep with us and, 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 and ride in our cars, all of ours went out of business. Integration meant disintegration because we misappropriated into civil rights instead of civil rights. Today, we're doing the same with politics. We are putting too much of our vested interest into electing a benevolent white person into office or a Negro that's going to be the manager of white people's affairs to become the highest uh, position in the land. We need to invest more time in spiritual development and economic development as a people. So I'm not, I'm not really uh, uh, personally excited about it. Based off the scriptural lens that you lose, you lose, I've never read in the Bible or the Quran where a politician ever freed a people. In fact, every time I read the scriptures, the politicians were always in the hoop with the rulers and the kings that were the enemies of the messengers of the prophets. And what we've seen with Rome, Egypt, Babylon, Sodom, and Gomorrah, anytime you got a nation where everything goes, that nation will soon be gone. I like what you said about economic empowerment because I've been reading a lot about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and reading a lot of his attorney, Dr. William mm -hmm. And everybody knows Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As soon as he made that pivot from civil rights, civil rights, civil rights, civil rights, civil rights that's when he got, he got killed. That, that is whenever they killed. And his, his wife said, mm -hmm. before she passed, she said that they killed my Martin because he got involved in economics. The, 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 the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said like this, he said, business is the activity of life. This is the responsibility of any people. Billy Holiday said like this, that my mom may have and papa may have. But God bless the child that, that has his own. You translate that into spiritual politics or economics. See, the Jews might have, Chinese people might have, caucus, but God bless the people that have, have their own. Right now, do you know we brought in $1.3 trillion last year as a people? Mm -hmm. Out of 226 nations on the earth, that makes black people in America the eighth richest nation. We brought in $600 billion more than, than Spain, $700 billion more than Mexico. Yet Spain has 46 million people like we do, and they maintain a 208,000 square mile land mass, and they have their own everything. Mexico has 131,700,000 people, and they're maintaining 771,500 square miles with half the money we have. Yet they have whole countries, and we don't have nothing we can call our own. Something happened to us. We, we got to get back into what, what they call today uh, 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 financial literacy. But we got to do it quick because we got to start doing something uh, for ourselves. We got the dollars. We just need some more sense to go with them. Dollars. But we got. We need some more sense because right now we the leaders in unnecessary spending. We always buying stuff we don't need, with money that we don't have from people that we don't like to impress people that we don't even know. And the Negro, the black mind right now has been hardwired where happiness is connected to spending, when it needs to be hardwired to investing and in to save. And if we can renegotiate the contract in the black black cycle, well, happiness. To spending, to investing, and saving, I think we'll be able to build a bright future.